Hello guys and welcome to my first Black Ops 3 video on this channel. Today we're going to be doing my opinion of the best class setup for the ICR-1 Assault Rifle. This is this weapon here. This is an extremely good Assault Rifle. So, obviously that will be the primary. Now, for your attachments you're also going to need two extra ones by using them two there, these two wild cards. The four attachments you're going to be using is quick draw, grip, high caliber, and rapid fire. These are extremely good. Quick draw just enables you to aim down side so you have a chance of maybe getting, you know, some machine guns to close range and just be able to latch onto your enemies a lot faster. Grip just lowers the recoil. Now this thing has insane stability anyway, but this just really makes it a laser beam. So I really do suggest you put this on just to experience the laser beam of a weapon it is. High caliber, so you know, sometimes if you flinch and your gun goes up, you hit them in the head, you're pretty much just going to kill them instantly. And rapid fire to get them shots off a lot quicker and to try and speed up your kill time. These four attachments in a combo on this weapon are absolutely insane of a weapon when you add this together. And I really do suggest you using these attachments. Now, for reasons, because we need three perks, you will not have a lethal, a tactical, or a secondary, which you don't really need because this weapon can do everything all on its own. It really can. For perks, we're going to be using flat jacket, fast hands, and tactical mask. Now, these I didn't used to use. I used to use six sense, hardwired, or scavenger, and blast suppressor. And I realised they're not necessary at all. Now these really are. This you need. Grenades on this game are extremely powerful. And if the indicator of a grenade nearby even pops on your screen. Chances are you're most likely definitely dead if you're not wearing this. So I highly recommend you use flat jacket. Because it is extremely useful. And to be honest needed a lot. Your second perk. Fast hands. This enables you to switch weapons faster. Now this part won't work too bad because you know you haven't really got a secondary to switch to. But say you switch to your fist when you're just messing about and then you're running around to get around quicker, and then someone comes out and know you can quickly switch back to your primary. Be able to lay damage. Also aim faster after sprinting. That is the crucial part of this. But a lot of people, especially with weapons like this, like to run around. They don't really like to camp. Sprint round if you're sprinting, someone comes and they're not sprinting, they're already firing. You need to be able to start firing accurately as quick as possible. And with this perk, it enables you to do so as you can just be sprinting and then aim extremely quick after sprinting, which is what this perk allows you to do. So, I really do suggest you guys trying this out. But if you guys are not too keen on using that, I suggest hardwired so you're immune to counter UAVs and things because they're really annoying, or scavenger if you want to go on longer kill streaks but this is very good tactical mask is also a very good perk it reduces the effect of flashbangs concussion and shock charges this i find a lot as well because there's a hell of a lot of times where i end up getting concussion and flashbang and things and on this game things like concussion grenades seem to last so long in effect you literally cannot do anything while you're concussed you just can't do anything and i think this is really needed as well if you want to be able to survive, but if you're really not too sure on that, then maybe blast suppressor. So when you're you know using your thrust jump and things, uh, it won't come up on the map. But that hasn't. Oh, that's what I used to use, but it hasn't really affected me too much since I've switched. So yeah, guys, that is the class setup I'm suggesting for the best class setup for the ICR, in my opinion. You guys can go and give this a go on multiplayer and come back to me and give me your opinions and let me know what weapon you guys want me to do next for a best class setup. Thank you for watching my first Black Ops 3 Creator Class video and I'll see you guys very soon.